So today, uh, Tiny Bird was a part of the Volume 2 launch of the AI Engineer Pack, which is something that was set up by our friends at Eleven Labs. And it just got me thinking about how analytics and data interact with AI and LLMs. And so I wanted to play around a little bit with Eleven Labs and how it might interact with Tiny Bird. Um, if you're not familiar with Eleven Labs, it's uh, an AI that allows you to build you know, basically text-to-speech AI agents. I mean, if you're not familiar with TinyBird, it is data infrastructure for software teams to be able to build and serve analytics in user applications. And one of the things we've been exploring a lot at TinyBird is interacting with the data that you have and the APIs that you create in TinyBird using LLMs and AI agents. And so there's a, an interesting opportunity here with, um, with Eleven Labs. And so I've actually created an agent in Eleven Labs uh, that I've called the Tiny Bird Agent. And what I want to do is I want to equip that agent to provide answers about uh, a Tiny Bird workspace. And so I have this Tiny Bird workspace uh, with uh, events from a Shopify e-commerce store. And this is kind of a, a bird-themed e-commerce store, if you will. Um, and so you can kind of see how the table uh, in, in Tiny Bird looks. We've got kind of some columns with timestamp, session ID, action, uh, payload, a client ID. Um, and then in Tinybird, we also have this concept of pipes, which includes like uh, things like the top searches for uh, on the store over a, over a configurable look back period. And all of these are published as, as API endpoints. So I can actually see this API and kind of the response that it gives. Um, so what I want to do is I want to equip my Eleven Labs AI agent to answer questions about the store. And so if I go back to Eleven Labs and you can see the system prompt. So the first message, hey, what do you want to know about a store? Uh, is what they are going to ask. And then here I've provided a system prompt. And what you'll see is basically I've told them, hey, you, you know, you're you're supporting an e-commerce analyst who might want to know things about the store. And I've set up a couple of tools. Uh, one of these is called top searches. So that actually um, can request this uh, top searches API and pass a look back period. Um, and then the other one uses the TinyBird Query API, which is essentially an HTTP, HTTP endpoint uh, to send an SQL query to the underlying database. Um, and so I've set that up to basically give this AI agent the ability to read from the database and construct queries to answer the questions that I ask. Um, and you'll see that I've added secrets to this. I have a TinyBird token. If I head back to TinyBird, I have this, uh, let's go my tokens, this 11 Labs agent that I have allowed to read my top searches API and also read the underlying Shopify events database. Um, and so let's go back to 11 Labs and we have these two tools. We have the system prompt. Um, basically what I'm doing in the system prompt is I'm describing the tools that I can use. Um, in this case, I'm actually giving it kind of the underlying schema of that Shopify, Shopify events table. So it knows how to construct those SQL queries. Um, and I've given it kind of example payloads for some of the unstructured data around various events. For example, you have an add to cart event. It has some metadata around the items that were added to the cart, the value, things like that. Um, and so I've kind of given it this prompt to understand the underlying database. And so now I'm going to interact with this agent and, and ask it some questions. Um, so let's try this out. We're going to test it. Hello, what do you want to know about the store? Well, let's start with what is the total number of events that the Shopify ha store has collected over the last seven days? The Shopify store has collected 7,344 events over the last seven days. And what is the conversion rate of the store over those last seven days? The conversion rate of the store over the last seven days is 45.2%. Wow, that's really good. Uh, I'm not sure that's accurate, but good, good attempt. Um, I'm also curious, what is the most searched for search term over the last seven days? The I didn't catch that. The most searched for term over the last seven days was Woodcock with eight searches. Cool, that's amazing. What was the most popular product on the store in terms of how many times it was added to the cart? I am unable to provide the answer. I am having trouble connecting to the database. Okay, no worries. Um, so anyways, I, you know, what's cool is I can actually go back to the agent 
and I can look at the conversation history and we can go look at this conversation. Um, gives me a nice uh, summary conversion rate 45.2 percent that the user expresses doubt um what was cool is it used that top search as api and it found that the most common search for term was woodcock which the american woodcock is a very interesting bird if you've never heard from it heard about it um but let's look at the transcription and you can even see like okay it attempted to send this query um but it got a 400 request so basically it it constructed a bad query and actually if you go to the prompt I've had to, um, if I go back to the agent in 11 labs, I have had to, in this, uh, this query tool, like I have this path parameter, which is the query that it passes. And I have had to add some like very specific, uh, guidance. For example, it wanted to, uh, use double quotes to enclose strings, but I had to say, Hey, no, you need to use single quotes. So I'd imagine there's some troubleshooting I could do. Um, but it's pretty interesting that I can just give it the query API and it will go and attempt to construct SQL queries and send them to the database and get a response. And all of this is just happening with basically a webhook that the agent is using to hit these uh, tiny bird APIs and get answers about the underlying data, which I think is really cool. We'll probably be exploring a lot more solutions and, and things like this at Tinybird over the coming weeks and months. Um, as we see more and more opportunities to work with data alongside LLMs. So stay tuned on that.